Welcome everybody back to another edition of Q Chef's Culinary Corner. Today I'm going to be making a house-baked focaccia bread with some basil pesto. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. Let's get going. Focaccia bread is very similar to pizza dough. One of the key differences that I find is that focaccia bread is a little bit more salty and it calls for a little bit less yeast. A key step to getting the right temperature on your water is to use a thermometer. You also want to add the sugar and some honey so that that way the yeast has something to feed off of. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these together so that, that way the yeast can start to activate. All right, we've dissolved our sugar and our honey in the water and now we're gonna do the same thing with the yeast. our flour we're going to go ahead and place that into the stand mixer and now we're going to add our sugar and yeast and water you can see that most of all the yeast was dissolved in the water before I added it to the flour We're also going to add a little bit of uh, olive oil. And now we're going to mix. If you find that the mixture is too wet, you can go ahead and add in a little bit of flour to make sure that the dough is pulling away from the sides of the bowl. That's how you know that it's, it's ready and everything is mixed appropriately. Our dough is done mixing. It looks fantastic. I've already went and separated the dough into two piles and we're going to go ahead and portion this into our cast iron and so we can start proofing. We're going to start to begin the proofing process. I said earlier that we've got these separated out into two piles. We're gonna press this down into our cast iron. It's okay if it's a little lumpy, it's gonna give it a little rustic look and it's gonna be just fine. So our dough is pressed down into the cast iron pan. I've made some indentations in it so that that way the ingredients can kind of sit on top and have its own little uh, vessel to sit in. First, I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna put some of this olive oil on there. Just a little bit and smear it around on there. I have some gloves on, so I'm gonna go ahead and rub that in there. I prefer working uh, the dough with no gloves on. It just gives you a better feel for the dough. Right, getting that nice and equally disputed or uh, portioned on there. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our topping here. Some Parmesan, red pepper flake, Italian seasoning, rosemary, salt, pepper, garlic, all the good stuff. All right, that looks great. Like a little bit more Parmesan, feel free to go ahead and put that on there. It'll give it a nice crust. So I've taken the ingredients and I've kind of rubbed them around on our bread here. Um, I'm going to be proofing, but I'm kind of cheating. I've turned on my oven here to 400 degrees, so that, that way it can proof a little bit quicker than it would normally. The oven is nice and hot at 400 degrees, which will also aid in helping proof the dough. I've wrapped the dough as tight as possible on the cast iron, and we're going to go ahead and let this proof for about 45 minutes to an hour. See you then. Paired with our focaccia bread, we're going to be making some super tasty basil pesto. We're going to be placing the ingredients into the blender. The 
the dough was done proofing. It looks great. It's risen quite a bit. I don't think we need to do a second proof. And we're gonna go ahead and take the plastic off. I'm gonna place it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes so we can get a nice golden crust on the top. Can't wait to take a bite of this. Looks so delicious. Time to fry some chicken. I've got my batter I've added some sriracha to. And I'm just gonna get my chicken that I dusted lightly with some flour, dip it in my batter. Okay, we're gonna start to assemble our chicken sandwich. As you can see, our bread is nice and light and fluffy. You can see all those air pockets in there. That looks great. I'm gonna take some of my aioli I made, some garlic and lemon in there. Put that on both sides. If you'd like, you can go ahead and toast this again with some butter. It'd be really good. I'm gonna take my chicken here that I battered nice and crispy. Place that on my bread here. And I'll put some of that pesto on there. I'll spread that around. Now, some lettuce. Tomato, some onion, and there you have it. Thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Until next time, we'll see you later.